This week's video is sponsored by Acorns, the money app that makes it simple and cheap to make small yet significant investments. Citizens of the Reject Nation, freedom! How you doing, folks? It's John and Aaron Alexander, and we're here to watch another super long, epic movie. That's right, we're watching Braveheart today. Both missed out on it growing up. All I know is the the freedom and also blue face paint. Aaron, are you excited for this? I'm so excited, Greg. Yes, John. I am. We're so Coy. excited. Andrew, Andrew, thank you for joining me. Guys, leave a like for remembering who you're in the video with. And also, uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so that you can get notified next time uh, we drop one of these epic pieces of cinema for you to check out. Also, big thanks to the folks over at Prepper uh, for helping chop down these highlight reels, especially on a movie like this one. I imagine it is going to be a challenge, and we appreciate them thoroughly for that. Also, we appreciate the super sexy rejects coming over to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash the real rejects. If you want to get the full Braveheart experience alongside Aaron and myself, everything short of the popcorn, everything that doesn't make these highlights, those can be found over at patreon.com slash the real rejects, along with everything else that Greg and I cover with reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Teas like these are available at rejectnationshop.com. Aaron, do you have anything else to tell the people before we hop into Braveheart? No, I'm ready to have a heart that's brave and feel freedom. Depths of the freedom! Roll the R, roll the bumper, let's go. <laughs> Through the fog, a brave heart shall emerge. Wowie. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Get that helicopter shot. Yeah. In Scotland? Yeah, I mean, if you're hearing bagpipes. <laughs> <laughs> the international sound of the Scots. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's so beautiful. Gorgeous. All that green. Scotland. Sure enough. I shall tell well you yeah. of William Wallace. Historians from oh. England will say I am a liar. But history is written by those who have hanged heroes. Oh, bars. William Wallace, I know that name. The King of Scotland had died without a son, and the King of England, a cruel pagan known as Edward the Long Shanks. Good names. Claimed the throne of Scotland for himself. Scotland's nobles fought him and fought each other over the crown. So Long Shanks invited them to talk some truce. Oh, that's gonna go well. No weapons, one page only. What's the worst that can happen? Among the farmers of that shire was Malcolm Wallace, a commoner with his own lands. He had two sons, John and William. William Wallace, son of the Shire. Where are we going? McAndrews. He was supposed to visit when the gathering was over. Can I come? No. But I want to go. Go home, William, or you'll feel the back of my hand. What? Oh, buddy. <laughs> That's right, we are in Scotland. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of that. <laughs> Big old one word sentences. <laughs> McAndrews! Oh, that pitchfork. Wow! Jesus. So much for the talks. Oh, damn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, is that guy's tongue out. I guess that must happen. Oh, man, the children, too. Awful, awful, awful. Oh, boy. oh, William. No, you shouldn't see this, boy. Ah! Oh, man. Whoa. It's all right. It's all right. Easy, lad. You got some explaining to do. Oh, oh God, no. man. Harsh. What a way to open up a movie. Man. Yeah, what a perspective. <laughs> we fight them. Every nobleman who had a will to fight was at that meeting. We cannot beat an army. That was the 50 farmers we can reach. We <laughs> Just fight them. Now, who's with me? I am, I am Wallace. Just about taking a stand. All right, all right. I feel like there was a Game of Thrones guy in there. I would not be surprised. <laughs> 
Or do you think you're going? I'm going with you. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to help. <laughs> hey. That you are, son. I need you to stay here and look after the place for me while I'm away. I'm the man of the hut now. I can fight. I know you can fight, but it's our wits that make us men. Mmm. Hell yeah. See you tomorrow. Sharpen your wits, boy. All right. <laughs> oh, is it the last time you're going to see your papa and your brother? Might be. This kid's picking up motivation left and right today. Seriously. Canada events back to back. <laughs> Whoa. Oh goody. Hey uh dun 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 English with your father and brother gone, they'll kill us and burn the farm. It's up to us, Hamish. Last stand, kids, let's go. Get your pitchforks ready. Yeah. Or your or your rocks. Oh, you're training. How cute. Uh you showed them, guys. All the spirits of those bulls are gonna come haunt you now. Whoa! <laughs> boys will be boys. <laughs> Breaking noses. Beatings by a brook. Beatings by a brook sounds like the combination of a nature video and a fight. <laughs> <laughs> David Attenborough narrating. I can see it. Oh, are they not back? Uh oh. Oh, good. What is that? R rice? It's like rice or salt or something. Yeah. Dip that stale bread in some salt. <laughs> Give it some flavor. Yeah. Da? Oh, da. oh. Oh. Ah. Spoke too soon. Oh, dad's not there. Did not speak too soon. Nope. Oh, bad. Oh, well. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Sorry, son. You're all alone in the world now. It's you and your mullet. <coughs> A lot of right righteous mullets in this village. Just you, your mullet, and your salt and bread. Oh, just keeping up the work. Yeah, that dude. He's in a bunch of stuff. With the mustache. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oof. Oh. Oof. This kid cannot catch a break, man. I know. He's been exposed to so much death. So young. And I can't imagine these scenes we're seeing are the first time. <laughs> Cold, stiff body. Nomine exaudi vocem meam. Are they going to do a pyre? Requiem eternam dona eis domine et lux perpetua. Oh. Who's that going to be in the future? Love interest? Oh. oh, okay, they are just going to bury him. I didn't know they wrapped their bodies that way. Pick of the thistle. It's thorns. Oh, Go to him. Oh. Yeah. It's going to become a symbol. He's a really good actor. Yeah. His music, too. Yeah, I was just wondering who did the score. Oh, so good. Oh, oh, Brian Cox. Let's go. Succession. Striker. Thousands, yeah, thousands of other credits before Succession. I'm your <laughs> uncle, Argyle. Oof. Wow, what a look with that eye. You have the look of your mother. <laughs> we'll stay here tonight. Tomorrow, you'll come home with me. I don't want to leave. You didn't want your father to die either, did you? Damn, dude. <laughs> but it happened. Did the priest give a poetic benediction? The Lord bless thee and keep thee. It was in Latin. You don't speak Latin? Me neither, kid. Well, that's something we shall have to remedy, isn't it? Absolutely. It's going to come in handy for centuries to come. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Ooh. 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 Your heart is free. Have wow. the courage to follow it. Wow. What a shot. Yeah. Whew. 
It's also really showcasing like the the mournful beauty that bagpipes can conjure up. I feel like Definitely. bagpipes are often used as a meme, <laughs> but. What are we doing? Oh yeah, they can be very powerful too. Saying goodbye in their own way, playing mm. outlawed tunes on outlawed pipes. Huh? Outlawed tunes on outlawed pipes. God, what a great shot of all of them with the backlighting. Yeah, I take it. They're the only two that have each other now because he knows what he's going through. Yeah. Man. Wow, what a sword. I was going to say, is he going to teach him how to use it? Definitely. First, learn to use this. <laughs> use your wits, boy. Brain heart. <laughs> Many years later, Edward the Longshanks, king of England, supervised the wedding of his eldest son who would That's succeed right. him to the throne. Ugh. As bride for his son, Longshanks had chosen the daughter of his rival, the King of France. Woof. Political moves. Gotta unite the countries. That looks familiar. Is he her real love? It was widely whispered that for the princess to conceive, Longshanks would have to do the honors himself. Oh, golly. Oh, that oh no. That may have been what he had in mind all mm. along. Ah. Scotland. My... The French will grovel to anyone with strength. Uh -huh. How will they believe our strength when we cannot rule the whole of our own island? I guess taking their daughters one way. I sent for him, and he sends you. Shall I leave, my lord? If he wants his queen to rule when I am gone, then by all means stay. Learn how. Yeah, maybe you can share notes with him later on. Nobles are the key to the door of Scotland. Grant our nobles lands in the north. Give their nobles estates here in England and make them too greedy to oppose us. Damn. Our nobles will be reluctant to uproot. New lands mean new taxes, and they're already taxed for the war in France. Are they? Oh, I got brainwaves. The trouble with Scotland is that it's full of Scots. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Grant them prima nocte, first night. When any common girl inhabiting their lands is married, our nobles shall have sexual rights to her on the night of her wedding. Ah! Uh, Jesus Christ. Ew! What? Get them out. We'll breed them out. That should fetch just the kind oh. of lords we want to Scotland. Y'all are just great guys. Just really stand-up people. The most <laughs> excellent idea, sire. Is it? Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Righteous. Now in Edinburgh, were gathered the Council of Scottish Nobles. It was Robert, 17th Earl of Bruce, oh, the leading contender for the Crown of Scotland. Is that, what, Aidan Quinn? Or no, 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 it's the guy from Saw 3. I hear that Longshanks is granted prima nocta. Clearly meant to draw more of his supporters here. Angus oh, McFadgen. the guy who was the husband? Yeah. Oh, snap. But he sends his greetings, huh? and he says that I speak for all of the Bruces and for Scotland. You're Robert the Bruce. Even my cousin Wayne. <laughs> wow, man. All these countrysides. I'm assuming they really shot this in Scotland, right? Or is this like Toronto or something? I would hope they shot it in Scotland. This looks gorgeous. Oh, He's back. coming home. Damn. The return. I almost forgot about Mel. <laughs> <laughs> How many years later is this? I don't think they said yet. Oh, sniff it. Smell a home. Smell the history. <laughs> All right, let's see what's worth fighting for. What's our way of life? Oh, we got juggling? Hey, hey, hey. Who invented juggling? Jiggle Jug the Third, of course. <laughs> What a mane on him. Yeah. God. What is his hair care routine? It's like sweat and goat's milk. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrations always do look especially joyous. <laughs> Does he still have the flower? Is it all like dead and decrepit now? Bring him the thistle. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Huh. Is that Brendan Gleason? I think it is. You've dropped your rock. <laughs> 
first of manhood. Oh, good. You win. Yeah. <laughs> you win! <laughs> <laughs> Call it a test of soldiery, then. The English won't let us train with weapons, so we train with stones. Well, a test of a soldier is not in his arm. It's here. No, it's here. Ooh. Oh, yeah! Oh, it was his buddy from childhood. Kept that can loaded. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Get that shot put. I recognize that punch anywhere. Hey. <laughs> All right. God, I hope he makes it through this movie. I was wondering if you could do that when it matters. Yeah. As it as it matters in battle. Could you crush a man with that throw? I could crush you like a worm. Oof. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna see some crushing later on. Do you like to see him crush me like a worm? <laughs> We've been waiting for it. Hello, boy. You know the takes. You know the takes. No. Not bad. That boy confident. It's still a good throw. Yeah. Not a far. We're gonna aim though. Ow. Ow. Ooh, God ah. damn. We are having fun. You're all right. You look a little oh, bit damn. shaky. Got cut there now. Should have remembered that. He's a wisdom boy. <laughs> What's your name and address? We need to get this man to the doctor. That's good to see you again. Uh, welcome home. <laughs> ah, these two. How do they decide where to tie braids and such? William, will you dance with me? Hey. Hey. Oh. Hey. Of course I will. Aww. 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 Ah, it's okay. It's okay. They made the eye contact. They know what's nope. up. Oh, no. 5 0 Scram. I come to claim the right of Prima Nocta. <laughs> As lord of these lands, I will bless this marriage by taking the bride into my. on the first night of her union. No, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, boy. <laughs> this guy on the horse is another character actor. Ugh. 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 Oh, this is so messed up. Oh, no. Eesh. I'm just gonna do it to save them, to save her man. Yeah. Real test of love. Ugh. Oh. oh awful. This poor couple, man, just wants to live in their happiness. Yeah. Can't even have a day to themselves. Gonna have to go behind the eightfold fence for this. A beautifully shot moment. Is this guy? I think that guy's in Sin City. <laughs> never gave an Irishman a good cause for revenge. I've never seen Sin City. <laughs> Aaron! I know! Aaron! <laughs> it's a good thing I want a channel where we react to movies. Woof. Oh my god. That guy's a oh, sinister face. Oh, he coming back too. I don't like that face. He gonna get his at some point, but he coming back. <laughs> yeah. Don't smile like that. Look like Green Goblin. I'm gonna be the Andrew of this movie. It seems like there's so many people. <laughs> so many like that guys in this. I was wondering if I might have a word with your daughter. Oh. What do you want to have a word with her about? <laughs> well, <laughs> Marin, would you like to come and ride with me on this fine evening? Uh... And this, you're out of your mind. Oh, it's good Scottish weather, madam. The rain is falling straight down. Oh, slightly to the side like. <laughs> <laughs> know the now, anyway. Know the now, know the now. Why know the now? Oh, the weather's just fine. It's hardly raining. Did you not hear what I said? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, my God. What timing? I like those birds have to be real. What timing? Look at his luscious locks on the horse. Yeah, both of them. How did you know me after so long? Why, well, I didn't. No. <laughs> it's just I saw you staring at me and I didn't know who you were. I'm sorry, I suppose I was. <laughs> Are you in the habit of riding off in the rain with strangers? <laughs> it's the best way to make you leave. <laughs> She's gorgeous. I if I can ever work up the courage to ask you again, I'll send you a written warning first. <laughs> oh, it wouldn't do you much good, I can't read. Oh, I'll teach you. Well, that's something we shall have to remedy, isn't it? Are you going to teach <laughs> me to read then? Well, if you like. And what language? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure enough now? That's right. Are you impressed yet? <laughs> no. Why should I be? Merci chaque jour. Je pense à toi. 
Ooh, is that Ooh. French? Do that stand on your head and look impressed. Might kill the fly up, but I'll try it. Oh, right? God, you certainly didn't learn any manners on your travels. Well, the French and the Romans have far worse manners than I. <laughs> You've been to Rome? My uncle took me on a pilgrimage. What was it like? Rien qui approche. Oh, it's you. Oh, bars, man. That boy's smooth. <laughs> that boy butter. But I do think of the Roman Empire every day now. <laughs> 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 oh, that helicopter shot, boy. Oof. Pardon? Come in now. Go to her. What you got in there? I think it's the thistle. Oh, maybe. Held it all this time. Oh, yep. my God. Good call. Good yes, call, film studies. Yes, sir. Fall. Call back. Call back. William. <laughs> Come back. Come back, Willie. I ship them. They're great <laughs> together. They're cute. This movie better won best score, man. Yeah. It's so good. This is terrific. I'll come to fetch you to a meeting. What, what kind of meeting? What kind of meeting? The secret <laughs> kind. Your meetings are a waste of time, Campbell. Oh, we're plotting. Your father was a fighter and a patriot. He was the patriot. <laughs> I know who my father was. I came back home to raise crops and, God willing, a family. If I can live in peace, I will. Uh. You say you want to stay out of the troubles? If you can prove it, you may court my daughter. Until you prove it, my answer is no. Didn't uh. I just prove it? Uh, no! Uh, no! Uh, no! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> refuse harder, man. Are these the troubles? Like when people say the troubles? Oh, I've never heard that before. Any any Celtic history buffs out there? Irish Scottish history buffs? Let us know. Running a farm's a lot of work. Well, that will all change when my sons arrive. So you've got children? Well, not yet, but I was hoping that you could help me with that. Ah, damn! That boy forward. Do you want me to marry you then? Well, it's a bit sudden, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. All damn. Have. Ooh. I want to marry you. I don't know if he just moved fast or this is how they moved back then, but god damn. I mean, it seems like life could get cut off kind of. In, it's like this weird yes. push-pull between, oh. Yes, yes. Eh. It's like I mean, it's I so it. idyllic, and yet it seems like also, you know, a battalion of British troops could just roll through at any point. Right. Imagine, like, 50s senile at that point in time. So they got to get married at, like, 30, 25. I know this will become a war epic eventually, but I would be cool just watching this romance yeah, for Sam. three hours. <laughs> this is so great. Just three hours of conversations with them. It's like a marathon of the Before Trilogy, but in Scotland. <laughs> great trilogy if you guys haven't seen it. Oh, wow. Oh. Marriage in secret. Secret marriage. Under the cover of darkness. Oh, wow. It's a lovely custom. I will love you my whole life. You and no other. I hope your love perseveres through the whole movie. Oh. And I, you. Mm. You and no other. Forever. Oh. How many patches? Gilly. Spiritus Wow. Did she Beautiful. sew that herself? Oh. Yeah, this is a great shot. It's a great frame. Very afraid. Oh. Love? Oh. Late oh. night love? Are they like in a pond or something? Wow. Oh, forest foreplay? <laughs> God, what a frame. What lighting. Were I to ever be married, this is the kind of night I would want to have. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so sensual and romantic. Yeah. Uh, Vulnerable. Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought something else was happening for a second. Put your kilt back on <laughs> for you. I thought she was pregnant for a second. I'm like, damn, we're moving fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't let them catch you. Yeah, don't let anybody know you're married. Please, God. I'm very afraid they will find out somehow. This is a great little sequence, too. Yeah. Like, they have to keep their distance. They can't be too obvious about it, but they just can't keep their eyes off each other. Aww. Uh oh. Oh, this guy. This freaking guy. This is another that guy actor. My dad's gone suspicious. I'm not suspicious as he wouldn't have anything to do with <laughs> We look too happy over there. Where are you going, Lassie? Well, that looks heavy. Let me help you with it. So, <laughs> I'm not stealing. 
<laughs> you remind me of my daughter back home. Uh, That's a good pickup line. Uh, 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 no, hate no. Hate this, hate this, hate this, hate this, hate this. William, hurry. Come, <laughs> William. Uh-oh. Club him with a head of cabbage. <laughs> oh, Ooh, nice. <laughs> No, 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 no. Ah! Thank you. Oh, oh, ew, dude, with the tongue. Ah! William, please do something. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, fuck. So, Jesus Christ. Yep. His cheek biting his cheek. Yep, yep, yep. Do what you gotta do. It hurts. Oh, man. Come on, William. Yeah. Oh! Smash. That trope, somebody fights back and gets called a bitch for it. I'm like, what did you expect, man? Right. Ugh. Like, I know, I know, it's the power dynamic. He's going to say that, but what did you expect? <laughs> a boost. Come back here, you bastard! Oh, boy. Beat me at the grove. Right. Beat <laughs> <laughs> me at the grove. Yeah. Go! That's right. Damn, not bad. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Wowie. Nice. The boy's trained in rock food. Wow. Oh, oh no! No! Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. This is so oh, he, harsh. He has no idea. Oh, shit. Disguise. Good. Okay, good, 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 good. No, no, no. She didn't make it there, brother. She didn't make it. Oh. Oh boy. So that was a nice storage stab no. in the ground. Oh Jesus Christ. Jesus. No, 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 no. Ah uh, no. No more death for this guy. He's been through so much already. Oh, his love. The great pains I've always taken, never to be too strict, too rigid with the application of our laws. I'm sure. And as a consequence, have we not learned to live together in relative <laughs> peace and harmony? Relative to what? An assault on the king's soldiers started is the it. same as an assault on the king himself. Ugh. <gasps> <gasps> wow. No! No! Oh, I thought he was gonna... I thought he was gonna save her. Wow. Oh, God. Now, oh. let this scrapper come to me. Oh. And that's war. That's war. War is on. That's war on all of you. That's gonna be war on now. Yeah. Hear the thunder. Hear that storm coming. Through the spikes. Ugh. Thunder. Hear the thunder. <sighs> yes, my man. Yep. Yep, yep, we yep. Blood. Hell hath no fury like a Gibson scorn. We are for blood. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Oh. Come and get me. Oh, surrendering? Slow mo. You got some of your sleeve. Beat him with a rock. I was gonna say. Get what a you rock hide? in your hair? You got some in your hair? He's got the sword up there. I'd be crazy if he had a sword up there. Get that super hair if he did. Oh, yeah! you're right, you're right! He's got it! Oh, oh. oh nunchucks! Oh, damn! Ooh. Ooh. He got some nunchucks on him. <laughs> ah! Oh God! I oh. Oh, Jesus! Not the horse! He's alone. I He's get the horse it. Alone. But it's oh. 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 With oh. an antler, bad ass! Ah! Ah! Oh. 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 That's a whole a flesh wound. Ah. Oh. 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 Damn! That was nice. Oh, 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 oh. Swore, bitches. My man's coming to the meetings now. <laughs> yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, why are you running? Where are you running to? Oh. Nah, nah. You, you saw Big and Bad a second ago. Oh, hammer time. Oh, can't touch this. That's right. That's my man. Yeah. Oh, 
Come yep. on. Yep, yep, Come yep. Come on. Corporal, some archers on the top. Now. Get his ass, especially. Yeah, man. You and your leniency brothers here. No. No, damn it. Break it off, yeah. Who is that guy? He's been a bunch of stuff, too. Whoa. Ah! Ah! Nice. Go, my man. Yeah. yeah. I gotta learn how to throw a spear. You should just foist him up onto the spikes up there. That's what I was thinking. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh! Yes, nice, nice. Oh, boy. The Damn. Yeah, yeah, that's there you a go. throw. There now you that's go. a throw. Yeah. Spike his ass. Uh, Cut his neck, Willie. Big Willie style. That's right. Oof. Whoa. Damn. Where are we going? To the post? Yeah. Karma, bitch. Wowie. Yep. That's right. Oof. Oof. Yeah. Macholich. 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 Macholich! 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 Oof. Wallace! 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 In my ears. Oh. Oh. Was that a transition from his name in Gaelic to English, or was it. Were they yelling two different things? Good question. I like Mel Gibson's ability to emote so much without saying so much without uh, saying a lot, you know. God damn, man. Good storytelling. This hurts. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I really liked her a lot. You really believed in their love. What a garbage time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> what a garbage time to be alive. Just so much suffering. Whoa. Oh. It's not his fault, man. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what you waiting for, boy? <laughs> Cauterize me, Captain. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. <laughs> I'll hold him down. Straight in the wind, boy. I know it seems like a waste of good whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Let him go. Yeah, that's one way to do it. I'm sorry, I'm so Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wake you up in the morning, boy. Sure. What a beast that guy is. Seriously. How old I is know he? That Jesus. Hurt. Yeah. We heard about what was happening, and we don't want you Amadans thinking you can have your fun without us. <laughs> <laughs> and my axe. Go home. Some of us are in this. Can't help that now. But you can help yourselves. Go home. We'll have no homes left when the English garrison from the castle comes through and burns us out. <laughs> Takes our daughters. Welcome. Wow. Ooh. God, it sounds so epic. Wow. Wow, man. I'll go to Scotland someday. I want news. Yes! Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> That's awesome. Put it right under our noses. I have dispatched a hundred soldiers to Lanark. They will be returning now. What are they dressed like this? <laughs> Actually, it was more like 50. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember me? I never did any harm. It was my right. You're right. Well, I'm right. here to clean the rate of a husband! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Damn. With the mace? I'm William Wallace, and the rest of you will be spared. Go back to England and tell them there that Scotland's daughters and her sons are yours no more. Ooh. That's right. And then movie ends. Oh, burn it. Wow, 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 wow. They don't get the verbal message, they'll get the smoke signal. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Hey! Not too bad a shot, sonny -o. Scottish rebels have routed one of my garrisons and murdered the noble lord. Routed. And how would you deal with this brigand? Like any common thief, have the local magistrate arrest him and punish him accordingly. 
<laughs> that man looks quite sloppable. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> you called it. You called it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. In the morning, I depart for France to press our rights there, and I leave you here to quell this little rebellion. Oh, that's not gonna work. One day you will be a king. At least try to act like one. But Papa. Away from me! Oh, <laughs> Jesus, dude. Oh. Mm. And die. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she's in a terrible position too. She's just a political pawn. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh. Tell me you got like a whole battalion hiding back here. Great wipes with the horses in front of camera and stuff. Oh no! Uh, You're outnumbered and trapped. Uh, Where are the rest? No, they not. Oh! No, they not. Oh! <laughs> what a shot! Right here, oh! mother. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yup. <laughs> you were saying about outnumbering us? What? <laughs> Hey, Father. my man. Uh, come in. A rebellion has begun. The what now? Under whom? A commoner named William Wallace. Anthony Hopkins? Oh, not even close. Whoa. Who the hell is that? I will gain English favor by condemning it and ordering it opposed from our lands in the south. Oh, no. Well, maybe it's time. It is time to survive. Yeah, who is this guy? You're the 17th Robert Bruce. The 16 before you passed you land and title because they didn't charge you. Call a meeting of the nobles. But they do nothing but talk. Yeah. They're as rich in English titles and lands as they are in Scottish, just as we are. You admire this man, this William Wallace. Uncompromising men are easier to admire. Yeah. His courage, so does a dog. <laughs> Edward Longshanks is the most ruthless king ever to sit on the throne of England. Damn. Nothing of Scotland will remain. Give ear to our nobles. Knowing their minds is the key to the throne. You nefarious. Yeah. Knowing their minds is the key to a whole lot more of the status quo, I feel like. Wow. Votre mari se prépare en cachette à envoyer une armée dans le nord. Comment tu le sais? Uh oh. La nuit dernière. J'ai couché avec quelqu'un du conseil de guerre. Look out now. Sans se te faire des confidences sur l'oreiller. Les Anglais savent pas quoi sert une langue. That's good. You poor thing. Il égorgea la fille afin de pousser Wallace à la révolte. Ils organisèrent de se dire Wallace le tuerait de son père et de son frère. Oh, jeez. Dans la tombe de sa femme. En guerroyant l'arme au poing, le cadavre de sa bien-aimée dans un endroit secret. Oh. Eventually, Longshanks will send his whole northern army against us. What do we do? Hitch, run, hide, the Highland way. High ground. Go in the trees. We will fight in the trees. We'll Throw rocks spears. at them from the trees. Oh, spears. Hundreds of them. Are. Long spears, twice as long as a man. Smart. Some men are longer than others. Your mother didn't tell you stories about me again, eh? <laughs> 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 Volunteers coming in. No matter what century we're in, always got a penis joke. My name is Fodron. My sword is yours. I brought you this. Nope. Check them for arms. He's got two. My wife made it for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. Him? That can't be William Wallace. I'm prettier than this man. <laughs> All right, father. I'll ask him. <laughs> if I risk my neck for you, will I get a chance to kill Englishmen? Mm hmm. Is your father a ghost? You converse with the Almighty. In order to find his equal, an Irishman is forced to talk to God. Yes, father. The Almighty <laughs> says, don't change the subject. Just answer the f***ing question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ooh. Ooh, crazy eyes on this one. That's my friend, Irishman. And the answer to your question is yes. You fight for me, you get to kill the English. Mm. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Stephen is my name. Steven. I'm the most wanted man on my island. Except I'm not on my island, of course. More's the pity. There's no extradition here. You're a madman. 
<laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yep. Yes, sir. Come to the right place, then. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been struck quite that way with a character in truck. Participating in the circle of life. Some greater maneuver. I think they're getting some food slash clothes. Damn. You freaking maniac. What are we What are you whoa. doing? Oh. They Oh! oh what the push, push, what push, are we doing here? Oh. Oh, oh wow. This guy. Good mislead. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. Sure, didn't the Almighty send me to watch your back? Damn. I didn't like him anyway. He wasn't right in the head. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk. Coming from you, that means a lot. Right. Whoa. Well, at least we know that he's on our side. We've been here all this time. The English find a way to sway him? The English are advising an army towards Stirling. Do the nobles rally? Throw up the boost, and most of the others will not commit to battle. But word is spread, and the Highlanders are coming down on their own. Aye. Hey. And droves of hundreds. Ten thousand. Are you ready for a war? Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's another movie I've never seen. The Highlander. I have never seen The Highlander either. No. Apparently, there could be only one though. We're outnumbered. At least three to one. How many horse then? Three hundred. Maybe more. Three hundred heavy. Oh, this guy. The heavy horse with with no chance. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Company march. God damn, those are long. Oh, uh, what are those lances? Who are those? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Like jousting style lances. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. How many extras and horses they must have had to wrangle on this set? Jesus Christ, man. Stupid amount. Movie magic. All right, lads. I'm no time for these bastards. Let's go home. Let's go what? home. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dude, no. Oh. Well, I was enjoying getting to know these two. Stop, man. Do not flee. Wait until we've negotiated. Dude. Oh, guys. We need some unity. Oh. Oh, oh there we is. got the paint. We got the face paint. We got the paint. That's the one thing I know about this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the man got paint on his face. Oh, the paint on all these guys, damn. Not bad. Oh. I like his, yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Righteous. Oh. This is a fresh shipment of spears. I give you thanks. This is our army. To join it, you give homage. I give homage to Scotland. Yeah. And if this is your army, why does it go? We didn't come here to fight for them. Yeah, not to prop up some people benefiting off a rotten system. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. William Wallace is seven feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've heard. Kills men by the hundred. And if he were here, he'd consume the English with fireballs from his eyes <laughs> and bolts of lightning from his arse. Yes. <laughs> I am William Wallace, and I see a whole army of my countrymen here in defiance of tyranny. Here, here. You've come to fight as free men. Free men you are. Yeah. What will you do without yeah. freedom? Will you fight? <laughs> No, <laughs> Jesus. We will run. Fight and you may die. Run and you'll live at least a while. Yeah, what kind of life though? Yeah, subservient one. I'm dying in your beds many years from now. Would you be willing to trade all the days from this day to that for one chance to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives? Oh. But they'll never take our freedom. Our freedom. Ah! And the build on that is so gradual, so natural. Damn. They seem quite optimistic to me. Maybe they do want to fight. Confrontation might be a foregone conclusion, my lord. I think we should deliver the king's terms. We'll never live up to them. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do? Just be yourselves. Where are you going? <laughs> Follow your heart. You're going to pick a fight. 
<laughs> oh, that little look in his eye at the end there. Here are the king's terms. <laughs> Lead this army off the field. <laughs> and he will give you each estates in Yorkshire, including hereditary title, from which you will pay from which you will pay him an annual duty. I have an offer for you. Oh. Here are Scotland's terms. Lower your flags and march straight back to England, stopping at every home you pass by to beg forgiveness for a hundred years of theft and murder. Woof. Oh, yeah, that's right. And your men shall live. And we will give you, you five north. established titles. Every one of you will die today. <laughs> I like his confidence. Let's go. Let's just smile, that, man. Yeah, man. He got that crazy look in his eyes. I believe him. You have no heavy cavalry. In two centuries, no army has won with it. I'm not finished. Oh. Before we let you leave, your commander must cross that field, present himself before this army, put his head between his legs, and kiss his own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd say that was rather less cordial than he was used to. You'd be ready and do exactly as yeah. I say. On my signal, ride round behind our position and flank them. We must not divide our forces. Do it. And let the English see you do it. Oh. In nominee Patrice. Infant bastard. <laughs> Arch it. Oh, yeah. You don't want to say a little prayer before you? No? All right. The forbidden pipes. I hear the pipes. That's great. Let's go. Let's go. Free balling it, baby. Hey, man. Kilt life seems pretty comfy. <laughs> They'll never take their freedom. Nope. Wow. All real spears in the air. That's awesome. Every one of those arrows is about to hit a guy in the nuts. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Yep. Ow, 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 Jesus. ow, Jesus. ow, ow, ow. The Lord tells me he can get me out of this mess. I'm <laughs> pretty sure you're f <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah! Yeah. That's Go. so funny. Wow, is that is that a real historical thing that happened? I really hope it is. They just be no, booted. put it back up. You're loading too soon, guys. You're loading too soon. Yeah, oh god. Oh god, everybody take cover again. Oh, oh no! You knew it was coming. You knew it was gonna happen. Too quick. So right! Oh, Someone was getting in the cheek. Every Scott with a horse is fleeing. Our cavalry will ride them down like grass. <laughs> Send the horse. <laughs> Full attack. So casual with it. Wow. wow. God, wow. these shots are yeah, beautiful. Incredible. Shot. <laughs> I love the way they're they're ramping up the pace of this. Oh man. Oh man. What are you guys gonna do, man? Before they have any time to slow down. Oh. Right. <laughs> horses. Oh, did not sign up for this. <laughs> chaos. The brutality of war. My lord, you lead them. You lead them. Wow. Ooh. Oh my God. Here we go. 
That first charge, the horses was magnificently shot, like from the slow motion and the grace, and then slowly transitioning into the more like direct POV, a little more shaky, a little more intense as they get closer and closer. Like so good. Yeah, really brilliantly done. Also, a very smart plan on their part. Oh, wow. Wow. Just bodies Madness, on bodies. That's right. Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. That's one lethal credit card. Can't even tell what's happening sometimes. Okay. Oh, boy. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez, Yeah. you laughs> Christ. Hey. That's right. Y'all wasn't ready for that, was you? Even the nobleman holding some swords. Guys. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> Cauterize that. Yeah, in ah! space. God damn. The amount of like blink and you'll miss it, little gore gags and stuff. Like, don't linger on it, it just is. Wow. Oh. What did he even cut? I don't even. That was so quick. What? Oh my off, god! Off, off, off with your head. Yeah, waste no time. All right. We're in this now. You know, something I didn't expect. I thought that speech would happen towards the end of the movie, but that was like halfway through. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Woo! God damn. Yeah, he's still standing. So many dead people. Oh, my God. Wow. But that one old dude is holding it down out of here. Unkillable. Look at the perfect blood streak down the middle. Yeah. Uh, Nostrils. Wow, man. Look at that. Yeah, Look at that those face. Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. What a symbol. Seriously. Oh, Powerful. they knighting him. Night thee. You are our leader. Sir William Wallace, in the name of God, we declare and appoint thee guardian and high protector of Scotland. Wow. Stand and be recognized. Absolutely, man. You deserve it, man. Whew. Nah, buddy. Chewie gets a medal. <laughs> Does anyone know his politics? <laughs> no. But his weight with the commoners cut on balance everything. <laughs> The <laughs> videos will kiss his ass, and so we must. Oh boy, oh boy. I hope Angus McFadgen ends up on the right side. Inasmuch as you and your captains hail from a region long known to support the Balliol clan, may we invite you to continue your support and uphold our rightful claim. Damn the Balliol clan! Aye, 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 aye. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's just leaving. We have beaten the English because you <laughs> won't stand together. Well, what will you do? I will invade England wow. and defeat wow. English on their own ground. <whistles> Whoa. <laughs> what? We're in Invade? It's impossible. You're so concerned with squabbling for the scraps from Longshank's table that you've missed your God-given right to something better. Ooh. You think the people of this country exist to provide you with position. Mm. <laughs> I think your position exists to provide those people with freedom. That's sure right. Enough. And I go to make sure that they have it. That's right. That guy's priorities straight. I respect what you said, but remember that these men have lands and castles. It's much to risk. And the common man that bleeds on the battlefield, does he risk less? Socioeconomically speaking, yes, but I get what you mean. But from top to bottom, this country has got no sense of itself. Its uh, nobles share allegiance with England. Its clans war with each other. Right? We need unity. If you make enemies on both sides of the border, you'll end up dead. We all end up dead. It's just a question of how uh, why. I'm not a coward. I want what you want. But we need the nobles. We need them. What an ironic title.
The men don't follow titles, they follow courage. Now, our people know you, noble and common, they respect right. you. And if you would just lead them to freedom, they'd follow you. And so would I. Yeah, boy. Take the courage, man. Pass yeah. that torch. Live or die, make your choice, Robert the Bruce. <laughs> I saw my cousin, the prince, tells me he has no troops to lend. Uh -huh. Oh. And every town in northern England begging for help. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. He advances! To which town? To here, my lord! Double the wall, guards, seal the gate. No! Yeah. What a hairdo. Yeah, the hair, the eyes. <laughs> the whole thing. Such a distinct looking uh, guy. Whole, whole presentation. <laughs> Run away! I like his like steady head with the bobbing shoulders. He knows how to ride. He knows how to ride, definitely. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. We can get you out if you leave now. I'm not about to tell my uncle I've lost him the greatest city in Northern England. In the north. Charge! Is that, that what? Tar? Tar? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Oof. I think I dumped some feathers down. Oh, oh shit. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, awful. That's oh, bad. Terror, horrible, horrible way to die. Whoa. Props to those stuntmen. Seriously. And you know it was hot, too, because it was steaming. Or at least it looked like it was hot. Oh, God. Our army of darkness definitely took a little bit from this. <laughs> Yeah, now burn it. Now burn it because you're on fire and that's wood. Yeah. Weaken them gates. Yeah. Oh. Set that gate on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now one, like, log dropping into the camera. Make way for the king. <laughs> oh, oh this guy again. Oh, man. Go stare into a mirror or something. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> Stand up to him. Will I my will lovely kingdom fall? Him and more. Uh, and what, what more? This poor guy. He's trapped in the complete wrong life. I'm gonna piss himself. Papa. <laughs> Please don't strike me again, Papa. <sighs> what news of the North? <laughs> Nothing new, Your Majesty. We've sent riders to speed anyway. I heard the word in France where I was fighting to expand your future kingdom. <laughs> so condescending. The word, my son, is that our entire northern army is annihilated, and you have done nothing. I, I have ordered conscriptions. They're assembled and ready to depart. <laughs> well done, man. Excuse me, sire, but there's a very urgent message from York. Come. Uh-oh. That's a head in there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna guess. I guess it is. Wallace has sacked York. What? We'll need a new York. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick up the head. Let's go. Hey, buddy. Uh, How you doing? My own nephew. What beast could do such a thing? Uh, you already know. If he can sack York, he can invade Lower England. We would stop him. You are so confident. Who is this person who speaks to me as though I needed his advice? <laughs> I have declared Philip my high counselor. Is he qualified? I am skilled in the arts of war and military tactics, sir. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Tell me, what advice would you offer? Oh, I was going to throw him out the window. Present uh, situation. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. He's, he's splattered. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, this You're gonna is not going to go well. <laughs> oh, son. I feel so bad for this guy. Another one. This is the wrong, wrong life for you. Wrong line, kiddo. I'm gonna kill you, Daddy? Who do you think you is? I shall offer a truce and buy him off. Of course. Nah, he ain't gonna go for that. But who will go to him? Not I. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I fell under the sword of that murderer, it might be my head in a basket. Oh, come on, man. Not my gentle son. <laughs> the mere sight of him would only encourage an enemy to take over the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh. 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 Something wicked this way comes. Is that a French woman? Oh my god, is he gonna send the 
princess? That'd be crazy. Yeah, but I feel like she's going to fall for old Willie Wallace. Oh, yeah, definitely. She got the eyes for his rep. She was like, so you're saying he's single. (laughs) Come on, let's do some witchy, hallucinatory shit. Let's get Druid in here. Oh, Oh. vision. I'm dreaming. Yes, you are. And you must wake. (laughs) No, never. I don't want to wake. Uh huh. I want to stay here with you. I know, buddy. And I with you. But you must wait now. How often you have this dream? Wake up, little spider. William, a royal entourage comes, flying banners of truce, and the standard of long shanks himself. Uh oh. Oh, damn. What a trip. Surprised they're not just trying to kill him on the spot. Although I'm sure they already know that that would just make the rebellion that much more impassioned. Mm-hmm. I am he the did. Princess of Wales. He did send her. I come as the King's servant and with his authority. To do what? To discuss the King's proposals. Will you speak with a woman? He sent her. Yeah. What a guy. Oh, bish. What a mighty king. <laughs> what a little bish ass king. <laughs> Standing on business. Mm hmm. <laughs> Standing on bullshit. <laughs> I understand you have recently been given the rank of knight. I've been given nothing. God makes men what they are. Did God make you the sucker of peaceful cities? Mm. The executioner of the king's nephew, my husband's own cousin. You should see what they've done here. York was the staging point for every invasion of my country. And that royal cousin hanged innocent Scots, even women and children from the city walls. It's true. Uh, <laughs> tell me about this. <laughs> well, Longshank's dead far worse the last time he took a Scottish city. Sanguinarius homo indomitus est. The Latin. Sevego sum homo indomitus. Oh, Francais, si vous préférez. A man's cultured. You ask your king to his face. Ask him. You see if his eyes can convince you of the truth. And then come back and we'll talk again. Hamilton, leave us. Leave the room where it happened. My lady? Leave us. No. Is that a Hamilton reference? It was. Ah, yes. Or I guess this is the tent where it happens, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Let us talk plainly. You invade England, but you cannot complete the conquest so far from your shelter and supply. Let me help you. The king desires peace. He proposes that you withdraw your attack. In return, he grants you title, mm-hmm. estates, and this chest of gold. That I should become Judas. Peace is made in such ways. Slaves are made in such ways. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. The last time Longshot spoke no of peace, I was a boy. And many Scottish nobles who would not be slaves were lured by him under a flag of truce to a barn where he had them hanged. Mm -hmm. I understand you have suffered. I know about your woman. And I would like to be your new woman. (laughs) She was my wife. My wife. We married in secret because I would not share her with an English lord. That's right. Yeah, she know about that. They killed her to get to me. And they got me. (sighs) I've never spoken of it. I don't know why I tell you now except... Seem like you got some sense. I see her strength in you. <laughs> oh. One day you'll be a queen. My queen. And you must open your eyes. Do you have to leave the queen you're with now? You tell your king William Wallace will not be ruled, nor will any Scot while I live. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just won't get one last look at you. My son's loyal wife returns unkilled by the heathen. My gay son's loyal wife. (laughs) So he accepted our bribe? He did not. Then why does he stay? My scouts tell me that he has not advanced. He waits for you at York. He says he will attack no more towns or cities if you are man enough to come and face him. The main force of our armies from France will land here to the north of Edinburgh. Conscripts from Ireland will approach from the southwest to here. Edinburgh. Welsh bowmen, troops from France, Irish conscripts. Even if you dispatch them today, they take weeks to assemble. I dispatched them before I set your wife. Damn, dude. Ruh-roh. Steps ahead. Mm-hmm. Our little ruse succeeded. Thank you. God damn it, dude. She was getting used. You spoke with this uh, Wallace in private. Tell me, what kind of man is he? <laughs> a fierce one. A mindless barbarian. Not a king like you, my lord. Yeah, stroke my ego, please. You may return to your embroidery. Go do some woman shit. <laughs> you brought back the money, of course. Huh? 
I gave it to ease the suffering of the children of this world. <laughs> no. That's what happens when you send a woman. Why didn't you go yourself, bro? I thought that generosity might demonstrate your greatness to those you mean to rule. <coughs> Hmm. My greatness will be better demonstrated when Wallace returns to Scotland and finds uh -oh. his country in ashes. <laughs> oh, you dying. And he finds me in a puddle of phlegm. <laughs> Personal escort of the princess must have made an impression. <laughs> I didn't hmm. think you were in the tent that long. Yeah, <laughs> long enough. Oh, boy. Mademoiselle. A message to my maîtresse. Oh, merci. She looks familiar too, but I can't place her. Oh. Oh, she's warning him. We gotta go. Oh. We gotta go. We gotta go. She's about she's about this life, yeah. yeah Killing it. Eyes. Killing it. Yeah. Hell yeah. The English ships are moving up from the south. I don't know about the Welsh yet. The Irish have landed. What the hell are the Irish doing fighting with the English? I wouldn't worry about them. Didn't I tell you before? It's my island. Uh, I want to know more about this Irish guy. Yeah. So fascinating. He's a fun character. And he keeps saying it's my yeah. I'm like, is this dude a future king? Is this guy a famous historical figure, too? Yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> this time, our only option is to negotiate. Now, I just want to see England raised to the ground. You were saying? You know, a secret cameo, historical cameo. We require every soldier you can summon. Your personal escorts, even yourselves. And we need them now. With such a force arrayed against us, it's time to discuss other options. Other options? <laughs> Too late for that. We cannot defeat this army. We can't! So, William. And we will! We want it Sterling! And still, you quibble. Quibble. We want it York, and you would not support us. If you will not stand up with us now, then I say you're a coward. <laughs> if you stand for nothing, you'll fall for anything. And if you are a Scotsman, <laughs> I'm ashamed to call myself one. Please, Sir William, speak with me alone. I beg you. A lot of that today. I beg of thee. Now, you've achieved more than anyone ever dreamed. But fighting these odds, it looks like rage. Not courage. It's well beyond rage. Ouch. If we join, we can win. If we win, well, then we'll have what none of us have ever had before. A country of our own. Here, here. Yeah. A home for real. You're the rightful leader, and there is strength in you. I see it. Unite us. Do the predator shake. Unite the clans. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Ah, yeah. yeah smile come on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That guy kind of looks, kind of looks like Carl Urban a little bit. The nobles will not support Wallace. So how does it help us to join the side that is slaughtered? I gave him my word. I'm a man of it. Does his face get worse? <laughs> I think so. I know it is hard. Being a leader is. My son, look at me. Uh, do I have to? I cannot be king. You and you alone can rule Scotland. What I tell you, you must do. Not for me. Not for yourself. Your country. God, man. What a dilemma for him. Right. Oh, snap. Uh oh. Are these about to become like burning no man's lands? Oh, he's got a helmet today. Bruce is not coming, William. He'll come. Monet and Lachlan have come. So will the Bruce. Gotta say, I mean, comment below if you're Scottish, but I feel like the accents are pretty solid across this movie. I say, I think so too, yeah. Mel Gibson's killing it with his accent. Yeah. The archers are ready, sire. Not the archers. My Scots tell me their archers are miles away and no threat to us. Arrows cost money. Use up the Irish. The dead cost nothing. Oh, wow, man. You sent in the infantry and cavalry. Infantry! You know, I would want to serve this guy. Yeah. Is that the harp that's on the Guinness cans? Is that what 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 is that symbol? It's got to be something from Scottish Irish history, right? Hmm. Who is this Black Knight over here? Is he about to go berserker? <laughs> oh man. <sighs> They're so good at these build-ups. These infantry marches and emphasizing the clash. Oh. <laughs> are the Irish gonna are the Irish gonna turn around? Yes, sir. Glad to have you with us. <laughs> <laughs> We're just playing. Let's That's go. That's awesome. Let's go. 
That's so great. How, how much did they update to, to make this satisfying for... Oh! oh wow. God damn! Jesus. You see that, f that like, fire just, like, cresting through the air? Like, oh. That was nuts. Wow. Whoa. Wow, dude, that guy had his face exposed and he was on fire. What a stunt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <Woo. laughs> it's a flip. <laughs> Jesus. God, man, that mace action or flail or whatever it is when it's on the chain. Where's the Bruce? It's pretty sick, right, bro? That guy's on Game of Thrones. The other noble with the blonder hair. Yeah, him. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of looks like a helmet. Ed Helms? No, that's what I'm thinking about. It was like Ed, Hel Ed Harris? Ed Harris. There that's what I'm at. That's what I'm at. <laughs> Not Ed Helms. Daily Show correspondent Ed Helms. <laughs> I gave Mornay double his lands in Scotland, but the matching estates in England. Lachlan turned uh, for much less. Of course. I beg pardon, sire. Won't we hit our own troops? You think I care about that? <laughs> yes. We have reserves. Attack archers. Do your job, character actor guy. Oh, boy. Uh, Jesus. Whoa. Oh, no. 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 Damn. Uh, oh, oh. Your face is crazy. Uh, oh, this guy's been here, too, the whole time. Ah. Damn, they said screw both sides. Oh, my God. Ugh. Awful. This is the battle where we lose half the main supporting cast. Come on, Bruce. Where are you at? Bring me Wallace. Alive, if possible. Dead, just good. <laughs> <laughs> his delivery is a killer. His mannerisms and his delivery. Uh, despicable character, though he may be. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific awful. performance. <laughs> no! No! Break it off. <laughs> How close to the heart are we? Are we in the heart? I hope not, God. Oh, this is gnarly. You gotta make it to the end, right? I hope so. Yeah. Come on, man. Rally. Oh, snap. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's go. What are you gonna do? Protect the king. Oh, let's go joust in time. Oh! Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Jesus. Oh, he's out. Yeah. Who's under there? You faking it? It's the princess under there. <laughs> yeah, he's faking. Oh, he's faking. Yeah, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. Nice, man. <laughs> oh, no. No, dog. Damn it, man. Oh, seriously, dude. That's a twist. Oh. Wow. I was rooting for you, man. You're supposed to be the best of us, man. You were the chosen one. You were supposed to destroy English tyranny, not join them. Oh, oh, the hurt doesn't even have the words. Yeah. What a great scene between them. Uh. Yeah, well, you, you are a hope, man. You're supposed to unite us. Oh, you see what you've done? Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. They <laughs> trick work twice. Get him out of here! Gracious! Wow. 
Oh, okay. All right, all right. Interesting. Mm. Oh, the mm. thistles. I'm dying. You'll never die. No, you're going to live. I've lived long enough to live free. Proud to see you become the man you are. Oh. I'm a happy man. Oh. 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 Soak in the aftermath. I wonder if he's going to have a late in the game Get true face turn or oh. some kind of redemption. That's what it seems like. Yeah. You need to go through that experience to realize, like, yeah, I'm, I have been fighting for the wrong side. Because, yeah, he hasn't been on the, the battles. He hasn't seen it himself like this. And he's still got to shed the influence of his father. Right. I feel like we've been debating that with him this whole time. I'm the one who's rotting. But I think your face looks graver than mine. Sure. I have to kill your dad, man. Those men who bled the ground red at Falkirk, they fought for William Wallace, and he fights for something that I've never had. Yeah. And I took it from him when I betrayed him, and I saw it in his face on the battlefield. Oh, dude. Well, all men betray. All lose heart. I don't want to lose heart! <laughs> yeah. I want to believe as he does. I will never be on the wrong side again. Oh, well done. That's right. It's about time. Good acting on him, too. Great acting. Great scene. Oh, Ooh, what a shot. Oh, pale, pale horse coming. coming for you. So they really were, he and the other guy really were trading looks on the battlefield because they got paid off. Those eyes, dude. Those yeah. wild eyes. Oh, my God. And the blood. Like, oh. <sighs> Oh my god. It was god. not a dream. It was a portent, a premonition. Oh, oh my god. You gonna force stomp him? I was gonna drag him. I was gonna reverse godfather him. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa! Oh. I've never seen someone ride a horse indoors this way. Whoa! Oh wow! Oh Jesus! Whoa! Just knocked him down with the horse. We're going to ride the horse into the water? Oh! What? I've never seen such a thing. Wow. How did they do this? I don't know. <laughs> the horse is just I falling. was going to say, how, how much of that was a real horse? Yeah. Oh, what? Would a horse survive? Yeah. I'm like... I don't know. Can, I think horses can swim. Wallace rode into his bedchamber and killed him. More of a liability now than ever he was. And there's no telling who'll be next. <laughs> oh, I think you know who's next. So you were the other guy. <laughs> maybe you, maybe me. Doesn't matter. I'm serious, Robert. So am I! Ooh. Lost my appetite. Nope. Eat more bread. Oh. Oh, oh my god, dude. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yo. Wow. Ooh. Right on cue. William Wallace killed 50 men. 50 effort was won. 100 men. Moses through the Red Sea. There's a legend growing. Wow. It's just big me. <laughs> Boom! I'm really like that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, he's just got to do it all for the belief in himself. And wow. Oh, and this a great shot. land. <laughs> oh, boy. His legend grows. It will be worse than before. Rallies new volunteers in every Scottish town. And when he replenishes his number. The sheep! The mere sheep! The sheep! If what Lord Hamilton tells me is correct. He warmed to our future queen and would trust her. So we'll dispatch her with the notion that she comes in peace. Oh. The princess might be taken hostage or her life be put in jeopardy. My son would be most distressed by that. <laughs> if she were to be killed, we would soon find the king of France a useful ally against the Scots. Oh, boy. It's William Wallace, sure. But he's given up his sword. Be ready. You gotta be packing a concealed dagger somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Smelling an ambush. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh my god. Cooked alive. Brutal. Ooh. That heat haze. Disco Inferno. Came to dance. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. Great. Lady. No. Uh, I received your stealthy. message. This is the second time you've warned me of danger. Why? There will be a new shipment of supplies coming north next month. Foods and weapons, they will no, so Why the hell? Just breathe. I'm scared but enticed. Because of the way you are looking at me now. Because <laughs> that Gibson smolder. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Wow. <sighs> oh. Consummate our forbidden romance. Will he give her a son? Good question. <laughs> oh. Got amazingly long hair. Truly. A true it's like, maiden. It's like with the back of her leg to her knees almost. From the landscape shots, the just like contemplative little character beats, there's so many great images. What is his ugh, that actor? We need Andrew. Andrew would recognize everyone in this movie. <laughs> Even the extras. God, man, he is not doing. Yeah. He's not doing well. He's turning into Pazuzu. She giddy, ooh. Yeah. She fraternizing with the enemy, ooh. Oh. oh Feeling her the gibbets. way he feels. He makes me feel inside. <laughs> Butterflies. Our noble saviors have arrived. Off with their hoods. Off with their hoods. Every man of us is ready to swear loyalty to you. So let oh, the yeah. council swear publicly. We cannot. Some scarcely believe you're alive. Meet us two days from now. Pledge us your pardon and we'll unite behind you. Scotland will be one. Do we trust them? You mean us and you. No. Mm. I mean this. I'm gonna save your own ass at this point. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, where'd you get that? The pledge of Robert the Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've got to try. We can't do this alone. Joining the nobles is the only hope for our people. You know what happens if we don't take that chance? What? It's nothing. I don't want to be a martyr. No, all right. Nobody does. I want to live. I want a home and children. It's all for nothing if you don't have freedom. That's just a dream, William. What are we fighting for if it's just a dream? <laughs> what have we been doing all this time? Right. It'll be a reality. Your dream isn't about freedom. It's about murder. You're doing this to be oh. a hero because you think she sees you. I don't think she sees me. I oh. know she does. <laughs> <laughs> Your father sees you too. Oh. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you got a point though. Yeah. If you don't believe this for freedom, why are you fighting this whole time? He knows deep down. He's just he just rattled. He's just scurred, yeah. He's just discouraged. Should I come with you? No. Always. I'll go alone. I see you after. I love this guy. He's so great. I love this guy. He's got the best, like, crazy eyed looks. Like, Little castle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just killing time up on the table. <laughs> That's a fun detail. I was whack. Uh oh. No, no, no. Something bad's gonna happen. I fear it. I fear it. No! 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 God! Shit, shit, shit. Damn it, dude. You. No, you bitches. Uh, we knew it. We freaking knew it. Uh, oh, Bruce is not to be hurt. That's the arrangement. <laughs> Ow. Uh, is he out? Murdered? Bastard! Why? Why? Long shanks acquired Wallace. So did our nobles. That was the price of your crown. Die! Die. Hey, you got to do it. Die. Man. Soon enough, I'll be dead, and you'll be king. I don't want anything from you. I quit. You're a monster. You're not a man. You're not my father. Ooh. Neither nor. You deceived me. You let yourself be deceived. In your heart, you always knew what had to happen here. Terrible, terrible, terrible. 
You know what it means to hate. Now you're ready to be a king. My hate will die with you. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you go lock that door while you're at it? God, it's killed. William Wallace, who yeah, stand in taint of high treason. He's not dead, okay. Yeah, this roughed him up real good. Against whom? Against your king. Never in my whole life did I swear allegiance to him. It matters not. He is your king. Mm, is he? Confess, and you may receive a quick death. Can we save him? Deny, and you must be purified by pain. Do you confess? <laughs> Then on the morrow, you shall receive your purification. Thank you, Hans Gruber. Come on, can we save him? Got orders from the king that nobody... The king will be dead in a month and his son is a weakling. (laughs) 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 Yes, your grace. (laughs) You said that boy is spineless. Lay it down. Leave me. I said leave me. Take the keys, girl. I come to beg you to confess all and swear allegiance to the king that he might show me your mercy. Oh, because I love you. Well, you show mercy to my country. Mercy is to die quickly. Perhaps even live in a tower. In time, who knows what can happen. You could let your hair down and someone can climb up and rescue you. If I swear to him that all that I am is dead already. The man's got integrity. <laughs> we'll die. It will be awful. Every man dies. Uh, now every man really lives. Woo! <laughs> show enough. Damn. Drink. Drink. It Poison? will do you pain. Oh. Yeah. But if I'm senseless or if I wail, then long shanks will have broken me. I can't bear the thought of your torture. Take it. Oh. oh. No, I mustn't. Just put it in your pocket. Drug the king. No, don't take it. Don't take it. Oh, my God. He's actually going to do it. He's going to make sure. Get that milk of the poppy. Spit Ooh. it out. Spit it out. He swallowed it. Thought he was going to spit it out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good. Must have been a very watery kiss. <laughs> <laughs> he held it under his tongue or something. Yeah. <laughs> I have come to beg for the life of William Wallace. You're quite taken with him, aren't you? I respect him. <laughs> what? Unlike you. What's a. Uh... Show mercy, oh, the regret king, and win the respect of your own people. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nah, son. <laughs> Even now, you are incapable of mercy. John Kreese over here. And you, to you that word is as unfamiliar as love. Before he lost his powers of speech, he told me his one comfort was that he would live to know Wallace yeah. was dead. Jeez, that's right, I did say that. <laughs> the boy spits facts. So that's one fact he's had this whole movie. <laughs> then it comes to us all. Yeah, it's the how and the why of it. But before it comes to you, know this, your blood dies with you. Oh. Mm. Ooh, yep. A child who is not of your line grows in my belly. <gasps> ah, I called go. it! <laughs> Yo! Your son will not sit long on the throne, I swear. He did give her a son. It's in his name. Oh, oh he trying. Oh, to the pain, my guy, to the pain. I'm so afraid. Give me the strength to die well. Because imagine dying like this is much worse than dying on the battlefield. This is, this is the anticipation of it now. Oh my God! It's 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 him. Another that guy. If only Andrew was here. <laughs> if only Andrew. If only Andrew. Half the time I got the names, but not today. <laughs> you totally spit on that guy too. Yep. Ugh. Wow, the POV. They will mock and ridicule you, but they do not understand. Oh, uh, I don't think anyone's coming for him. I think he's actually about to die right now. Sheesh. Well, I guess this will be real life. Oh, oh, no. Pick your poison. It's not F. Murray Abraham, is it? I definitely do not know. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> You're holding out, man. Now behold the awful prize of treason. Huh. Oh, no. Oh. Or fall to your knees now. Declare yourself uh, the king's loyal subject and beg his mercy, and you shall have it. No thanks. Rope! <laughs> oh boy. Stretch him! Oh wow! Oh wow! Stretch! 
stretch oh, him. Oh, you're going to pull him apart? Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone do a Hollywood and get in there with an arrow and shoot him down. <laughs> wow. wow, what a boss. What a boss. Oh, his token. Oh. No. Joke's on you. I'm into asphyxia. Kiss the royal emblem on my cloak. You will feel no more. <gasps> no, you got to feel it all, my friend. Yeah. This man stood on business till the end. <laughs> spit on it. Hock to. Hock to and spit on that thing. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Going to be drawn and thirded. Can't go out like this, right? Mankind right? is is quite inventive with the torture. So many ways to rend and maim. Uh, ah. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Oh, 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 oh. Enough. Uh, bro. Oh. Oh. Oh, and he's still clutching. He's still got her kerchief. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Not my shirt. <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing? What are they doing? It can all end right now. What's, what's, what's bleeding? Just say it. Cry out. Oh, he's going to move the crowd, isn't he? He can't break him. Uh, this isn't fun anymore. Merci, Merci. Jesus, Merci. Oh, wow. Even they're saying it. Don't say it, William. The prisoner wishes to say a word. Ugh. It's not the word you think. Freedom. Freedom. Soon, babe. Uh, I'm coming, coming home. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. So many incredible shots, man. Really beautiful. After the beheading, William Wallace's body was torn to pieces. <sighs> Jesus. His head was set on London Bridge. Oh, wow. And legs sent to the four corners of Britain. Jesus. It did not have the effect that Longshanks planned. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it only... Robert the Bruce rode out to pay homage to the English king and accept his endorsement of my crown. I hope you've washed your ass this morning. It's about to be kissed by a king. <laughs> Jeeps. Oh, mm. he got the spirit with him. Yeah. Oh, you about to make a speech. You have bled with Wallace. Now bleed with me. Now bleed with me. Let's yeah! go. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's... Oh, damn it, man. <laughs> that throw. That throw. That arm, though. Yes. Nice. Let's go. Wallace. The martyr, Wallace. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Wiping that smirk off your face. Gonna have to wash your ass all over again. In the year of our Lord, 1314, patriots of Scotland, starving and outnumbered, charged the fields of Bannockburn. They fought like warrior poets. Hell yeah. That's right. And warrior poets. Yeah, baby. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Jeez. Oh, that's right. Whoa. I totally wow. forgot he directed this oh, too. Shit. Damn, Melly Mel. That was great. And Randall Wallace, I feel like I've heard, I've seen <sighs> script credits Wallace. for him as well. Oh, Need my connection? God. Wow. Oh, my God.
Oh, I need a I need a minute. I need a so few minutes. Good. That was incredible. Oh. I want to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, Acorns. I first heard about this investment app from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Not directly, I just saw an ad for it. And I was like, let's try this out because let's be real. Investing can feel like a daunting task. And many people, myself included, don't know where to start most of the time. I have many friends who invest, impart their wisdom to me, and I still get overwhelmed by the thought of it. Plus, there's this myth that you need a ton of money to get started. So with our busy lives, it's very easy to put off thinking about our financial future. And what's great about Acorns is it makes it easy to start automatically saving and investing for your future. Best part, you don't need a lot of money or expertise to start with Acorns. In fact, you can get started with just your spare change. Acorns recommends an expert-built portfolio that fits you and your money goals. Automatically invest your money for you. It's made investing super straightforward and stress-free. As someone who has been living off of commission for a very long time now, having something to invest in is very important in my life. The idea that small actions today can have a massive impact on your future really resonates with me. Because from acorns, Mighty oaks do grow. <laughs> so grow your oak. But seriously, guys, give it a shot if you're interested. You can head to acorns.com slash rejects or download the Acorns app to start saving and investing for your future today. Because we're dealing with finances, it's important for me to say this. Paid non-client endorsement. Compensation provides incentive to positively promote Acorns. Investing involves risk. Acorns Advisor LLC and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. View important disclosures at acorns.com slash rejects. All that being said, I do vouch for them. And so does Dwayne The Rock Johnson. John Toll. That's, uh, I feel like he's responsible for many a uh, uh, terrifically shot film Aaron if you're listening to this on Apple and Spotify <laughs> that's right oh James Horner okay James sure Horner. sure damn I wouldn't have guessed well done but a, a classic composer no less if you're listening to this on Apple and Spotify by all means uh leave us a rating uh what did you think sir I thought it was really freaking good. I yeah. thought it was great, man. Yeah. This was one of those movies that I've heard about for years, but never had the chance to actually see until today with you and you. And Screw this that. was a, something that definitely lived up to the hype, you know, from its amazing score that was just very sweeping and inspirational and using very uh, authentic scottish sounds to kind of just like carry us through this and yeah. you know watching all the performances were really incredible and the way they were able to make this historical event into a very inspiring narrative credit to mel gibson and the writer but yeah i was i was blown away <laughs> you know it was just it was able to capture the emotionality of what that experience is like to be this underdog and kind of go through the trials and tribulations of, of war and loss and yeah. pain and kind of overcome and inspire people and entire people to to fight for their freedom to fight for what's right and to fight for their their peace of mind because yeah just the whole just landscape and just whole situation of how history is formed just so screwed up and i'm happy that you know even though it was done through very violent means that they were able to to find uh not even i guess peace for the future but find resolution uh amongst themselves to kind of have a better way for the next generations and i thought it was this was a really great film overall but yeah that is my uh my quick little tiblet so john what did you think yeah i would agree i mean it's one of those movies where it has such a yeah, cultural. It's just so part of the cultural lexicon of movies and whatnot. And I didn't exactly know. I didn't really have like a, a portrait in mind of like what the movie would look and feel like. And in a lot of ways, this is kind of exactly the sort of epic I was kind of anticipating, but in the best sort of way. Yeah. And it's funny because we watched The Patriot just recently. Uh, oh. Catching up on all the Mel Gibson movies. <laughs> it's the right time for that. <laughs> Good God. Uh, but all, all the Mel gibson this aside, uh, yeah, like they're, it's interesting to see because they are two kind of similar movies in a way in a sense at least in terms of the themes and and mm. the you know the fight for freedom in the face of tyranny in the face of authoritarian or you know just like uh, monarchic authoritarianism and 
Yeah, just the emotionality they're able to wring out of it. Like, it is a cathartic and it's a hard one movie. And obviously, it's a bit of a tragedy, certainly, because William yeah. Wallace doesn't make it through to see. He's, he is, they compare him to Moses at one point, and it is kind of that. He leads the way to the promised land and never gets to step foot inside. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, from top to bottom, I mean, like, the production values. Like, this, uh, what year was this? Like, this 95, is. 95, I think. Yeah. So, like, this is around that time, I feel like, where we were kind of at the. At, at sort of a pinnacle where you know com computer effects and things like that are, are just a glimmer in someone's eye still so like everything has to be amassed and you need so many people so many extras so many horses you need so many locations you need these castles and things you know you need so much in costuming and and props and all that stuff and and, and like this is a true epic uh, you know, iteration of of what movie magic is to me, you yeah. know, uh, and, and yeah, another another in a long line of these films that we were watching, you know, that are, you know, historically leaning that makes me want to go and learn more about the actual history because exactly. too, I mean, there's a lot about this that is very kind of rousing and satisfying throughout up until you get to yeah those later betrayals and those turns where you know at least in the personal story of William Wallace things are you know taking the turn for tragedy but you know you still have you know his sacrifice and his resilience spurring you know that that last push toward freedom and i'm curious because too um you know in the more recent history obviously that we've had the united kingdom and i believe scotland was a part of the united kingdom for a while and i think they well, did they, they vote to leave or did they vote to stay i remember when that was a big thing they were like scotland's voting whether or not to stay or, or leave the uh, UK. But either way, like that aside, just watching as, yeah, they have to transcend like all of our own inner bickering between the clans and stuff like that and, you know, really uniting against a common foe and against the common just uh, against tyranny in general. Like was, yeah, very inspiring. And it's, you know, just, I don't know, a prescient reminder that, like, no matter how much warfare and battle changes, and too, again, like, watching this, watching The Patriot, like, it's so harsh, and it's so stark, and it is just, like, you're just a bunch of people on a field just, just here slashing it out, you know, and they're, you know, shooting each other at, you know, point-blank range and whatever, and uh, and it's so, you know, nasty and painful, and there's disease, and, and like, you get that real sense of sacrifice and of, again, like perseverance for, yeah, some kind of outcome we probably won't get to see, but that is like spiritually worth it. And yeah, no amount of, you know, title or land grants or, or, or you know, uh, you know, riches bestowed upon you can truly you know if you, if your heart is in the right place, none of that stuff can dissuade you from the true pursuit of of you know honest freedom and uh and yeah like i think it did a really nice job <laughs> you know <laughs> tying together all those themes and starting out in a place where yeah it is you know this love story you know he's coming home he's just trying to live his life and pretty soon it's just not possible and he has to take a stand and as much as you know they do f essentially fridge marin <laughs> that's her name right uh essentially as it is like a, a fridge situation um, I thought, you know, their romance at the beginning was so lovely and yeah. they did a nice job of really making us again, uh, they, 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 they bring your heart into the things that are worth fighting for. You know, we meet several of the people around. We meet Brendan Gleeson. We meet, you know, just these various characters who will become part of the ensemble of, you know, sort of the brotherhood that this is, you know. Uh, and uh, and yeah, like getting us invested in all of that stuff and kind of seeing what life is like and seeing, you know, the meager means that a lot of these people are living under. Uh, and yet, you know, the resilience, the culture, you know, the, the way of life that they're able to have, you know, before it is put under, you know, like the truly most overt threat of, again, tyranny. And uh, and yeah, I just thought this was really well drawn and well captured and well conceived. And, you know, there are certain moments here or there where you wonder, like, oh, man, what was sweetened for, you know, uh, you know, cinematic structure and whatever else. But, you know, nothing felt like it was too, uh, I don't know, fantastical or anything like that to, to hinder 
you know the movie's ultimate impact and and yeah like yeah it's a bummer you know it's a bummer that that uh you know mel gibson's trajectory has gone the way that it has just simply because i mean this is a masterful piece and mm-hmm. to be able to lead a movie like this hold down that scottish accent uh at least in a way i you know i've heard a number of scottish accents over time and it seemed like a pretty solid one at that yeah. and to be able to direct all this and to manage like Directing any movie is a whole lot of hats you got to wear, and imagine directing an epic like this has to be massive in terms of, you know, you're wrangling armies worth of extras, and and I mean you've got help, but still you've got to be thinking about and conceiving of all that, and still finding time to be in the moment and be in the emotion and and you know be in the humanity of you know this historical encounter, uh, this historical account of sorts, like. I mean, it is truly impressive what they were able to make with this, and I absolutely see why this is one of like the the peak, you know, war epics, historical epics in cinema. Like this was, yeah, this was quite gripping and captivating. Yeah, yeah, I wholeheartedly agree. I think it was very gripping and captivating, and the fact that it's able to win five Oscars is just a testament to the quality of the not only the quality of the movie, but the yeah. fact that it's this universal thing that a lot of people got behind because it is it speaks to just like the basic human nature of wanting to be free and wanting to you know have life and joy and be able to have that in a time where you know people aren't living as long you know Cause sure granted Bad like too, yeah. that, that beginning <laughs> of this movie you know you you really get to relish and see like scottish joy granted not like the beginning beginning but like you know what i'm talking about like the wedding and like watching yeah. them like play as kids and stuff and like watching them fall in love and just getting to see like what their way of life was before you get to realize oh the fuller scenario of oh just like england has this like big grip hand over like what they're what they can and can't do like the whole thing about taking their wives and their wedding night is just so awful yeah. just so horrible oh. and like yeah of course you want to fight for freedom especially if somebody just thinks they can take whatever they want whenever they can like hell no that's that's just truly awful and i feel like the fact that you know we didn't get to like know these characters inside and out and like what they like go through on like a daily basis but i feel like the what makes a film successful is getting your character and having them have such a strong one have such a, a strong sense of of purpose and then having that purpose taken away and then get garnering a new purpose that we can all get behind because we can all get behind themes of love and loss and revenge and you know unity and freedom, and I mean, freedom. Yeah. exactly and a, watching them do that in a way where it was able to capture capture this time but also build his legend at the same time you know I, I fully bought into the fact that yeah he's doing these things but this word of mouth is spreading over the amazing feats and he was facing resistance over and over and over again from his own people from the people he was trying to uh unify and then obviously from from uh, england but the fact that he was able to accomplish such things in the face of such adversity is just really uh, and a testament to how great of a leader he was and how Truly. ambitious he was and how Truly. much of a person of of care of moral character and and uh discernment and and discipline he was as well and yeah the fact that he was not only just this great warrior but the fact that he was able to uh be so well versed in his his knowledge as well because they made a, a emphasis at the beginning of the movie to how his wits are like what's most important you know yeah. and he was not only oh using those wits in the sense of like using multiple languages or speaking multiple languages but he was also utilizing those wits and when it came to uh being a, a warrior you know how he planned that whole thing Strategy, with like them yeah. all them all using their spears and then the other people came on the, the other sides like that was just genius uh strategy i would have liked to know a little bit more about his time like acquiring all these skills and this knowledge and his relationship <laughs> with his uncle sure. so but obviously this is like history and like this is the main crux of the movie is about this war montage. and their freedom and whatnot <laughs> yeah like a training montage that would have been cool because we just had this kind of jump where he just has all the knowledge already but and then yeah. brian cox never shows up again <laughs> never shows up again <laughs> it's such a cool for one scene <laughs> it's such a cool look and i was like i want to know more about that guy and like yeah, yeah i wonder what would happen to him 
and yeah just to maybe to see the the fuller scope of like what was going on around that time like obviously we had a french princess but we never really spent any time in france or like how how far does his legend really spread yeah. like these are all things i would be curious to know and maybe like you know it's 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 a movie like this that inspires you to not only want to watch or learn more but also want to uh show other people and i feel like if this the the crux the the things that make a good movie for me are ones that inspire you that make you feel and makes you want to share it with others and i feel like this movie succeeds on all of those levels all right. of those things yeah and it, and it makes you want to live up to that ideal of you know uh, not yeah, it makes you want to live up to the ideal of basically standing on principle and, yeah. you know, not allowing tyranny to flourish or to even plant its seeds. And, I mean, you know, it's it's interesting uh, to go back to that comparison. Like, watching this, watching The Patriot, very different feeling movies in certain ways, but also, like, very similar... It's like timeless themes. It's like there's always kind of these power dynamics and there are always people kind of looking at other countries and trying to shuffle them around and, and use them as, you know, ch pieces on the chessboard rather than looking at the actual, you know, purpose of life, which is to, you know, live and flourish and have your kids and, and you know, raise a family and, and tend to your own, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and you know, both those movies, too, you're, you're under tyranny from England <laughs> and you've got this one guy who is able to, you know, uh, kind of transcend the, the normal accepted bounds of military procedure and, you know, cultural concerns and whatnot and is able to unite people and is able to lead them against this impossible seeming force in one way or another and and is able to make this you know tremendous sacrifice to you know push you know the the his people you know give them that push that they need to make it across the finish line or to take you know the battle to take up the mantle truly and not falter under the the hopelessness that can come when you lose somebody like that and uh when you lose somebody who's so inspiring and is so key and crucial to you know this the way of life that you're fighting to protect and uh and two i mean both of these guys are are represented in a way where like they do develop because you don't have cameras and whatever else uh you know they do develop this sort of larger than life legend and both movies kind of confront that in an interesting way uh yeah just, and and then you think about yeah it's like it, the themes of both are are these kind of anytime you're living in a world f with borders and politics and power structures you're just gonna have to confront you know the threat of tyranny and the pursuit of freedom and yeah. uh and yeah I, I think you're right it's like this works really great as a movie but it also just kind of gives you that extra little bit of inspiration to be like man uh, uh like out there in life, you know, whenever presented with it, I hope I have the amount of character and resilience, you know, to, yeah, not take <laughs> the the bribe, not take the the sort of complacent band aid of a situation. The all these nobles, all these nobles here, it's like, hey, you know, we're gonna give you some land, we're gonna give you some titles, we're gonna give you some money. Can you get your people in line for us, please? Like, you know, and and uh, and seeing from the king's perspective, you know, he's always just like, ah, you know. I'm going to go over to the French and we're going to do some fighting because, uh, hey, you know, they'll make good allies for this thing. And, hey, if we kill this guy, then, uh, you know, this will. You know, yeah, like, obviously, the king is certainly made out to be, or at least Longshanks, not his son so much, but, like, the king is made out to be this pretty dastardly figure. And I don't have a reason to doubt that, you know, this was the case. But it does make me wonder because it is just sort of like, man, you are so kind of down that rabbit hole. You're so, you know, looking down on everyone from this tower and, and from, you know, just like the God's eye view of a map that, you know, you don't seem really engaged at all with just like what life is for and about, <laughs> you, yeah. you know. You're so far removed from it, you don't really like consider the humanity of or the the morality of what you're doing and how it's affecting people you just you look at it as a strategic thing as if people aren't a real factor to con to consider it's just all about like acquiring more land and and just kind of holding what you have mm -hmm. um in in maintaining and then growing what you have but like there's like this level of disconnect from it yeah 
hoarding the power and resources. Exactly. Hoarding the power. But yeah, great performances. Um, I really liked both of the, I mean, uh, what was her name? Marin. I thought she was terrific. I also liked the, the French princess. I thought she w- did a great job. And awesome. I liked, again, it's one of those, that's another one of those details where I'm like, wow, I would love to know the history because it's, it's fascinating and it's cool that she, you know, played her own part and was crucial in ways you know, to what transpired here, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, and and even her, you know, handmaiden, you know, giving them the tip off, you know, like in a subtle way. It's not even made like it's not even hugely emphasized by the movie. Like, oh, look, at, look at this. Oh, big triumph. What clap moment? You know, it's it's just like, no, yeah, this is part of it. And, you know, there are certain people who do kind of uh, notice and really make decisions based off the integrity they note in other people and to that too and i really liked as tragic as it is and as frustrating as it is the back and forth between wallace and uh, william the bruce or robert the bruce i should say mm-hmm. um you know and and there are moments where you're like damn man if only you had made a better decision at a better time Earlier. you know this could have been different but I do like that he ultimately does come around and, you know, takes up the mantle and has that opportunity, you know, at the end there to end this in some kind of compromise, but chooses to, yeah, take the fight that one last step. Yeah. Um, yeah, man. This was, this was quite quality. I wish I wish Wallace would have had the chance to face the king. Yes, but obviously, agree. This is history, so not everything I, yeah, happens you, in perfect, <laughs> you know, harmony as you'd like to. You he want him to got his revenge. You want him to break in and whoop him. Yeah, 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 yeah. man. <laughs> he deserved that. it. I feel that. I feel that. Let's. We got. We got it. Just a couple minutes before we got to wrap this up. Read a couple facts. Couple I'm sure there facts? are facts on this movie. Oh, uh, what? God, I can only. <laughs> I can only imagine as I scroll. IMDb facts on the history IMDb. historical drama. Look out now, Mel. Gibson, check this out, initially Maybe. turned down the role of Will I Am what? Wallace, feeling that he was too old for the part. He was 38 at the time, while the Damn. real Wallace died at 35. Wow. But Paramount Pictures would finance the film only if Gibson agreed to star in it. So he did. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, Williams Wallace's two most trusted captains throughout the film are Hamish, who is Scottish, and Stephen, who is Irish. Hamish was played by the Irish actor Brendan Gleeson. And Stephen was played by the Scottish actor David O'Hara. <laughs> That's who great. Did a little switcheroo. That's Irish, so uh, Irish Hamish, Scottish Stephen. Not, not bad. In October 2009, interview with the da- the Daily Mail, uh, Mel Gibson admitted, "Oh, here we go." That the film was heavily fictitious, oh. but claimed the changes had been made for dramatic purposes. He also admitted he had always felt he was at least a decade too old to play Wallace. A little bit of a repeat fact there. Um, one of the film's weary extras reportedly mistook one of Mel Gibson's children on set for an errand boy and asked him to bring him a cup of tea. Oh, Gibson was in earshot and nodded and whispered to his son, go get it. (laughs) (laughs) Keeping him humble, keeping him humble. Uh, Ooh, many Scots were offended by the film's portrayal of Robert the Bruce, who is considered a national hero. Wow. Good to know. I, I would. Yeah. Again. Recommend some good historical podcasts and whatnot. Um, up hmm. to 1,600 extras were used for the battle scenes. Most were members of the FCA, the Reserve Irish Army. Different companies usually come from the same area, and rivalries are common. Apparently, some of the battle scenes are far more realistic than intended, with rival companies trying to beat the lard out of each other. <laughs> wow, man. Oh, goodness. When asked by a local why the Battle of Sterling Bridge was filmed on an open plain, <laughs> Gibson answered that the bridge got in the way. Uh, mm. I, the local, answered, that's what the, Brit- that's what the English found. Interesting. Um, King Edward I was called Longshanks, Long Legs, because he was at least 6'2", uncommonly tall for a man at the time. <laughs> <laughs> William Wallace was even taller, 6'5", and that's why they, they legend him up to being like 7 feet tall. However... Mel Gibson is 5'10", <laughs> while Patrick McGowan uh, was actually 6'2". Exactly. Wow. So he was on point. Um, here, that's one. This is a thick boy. Mel Gibson later said regarding this film, some people said that in telling the story, we messed up history, mm. and now it's different. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't bother me because what I'm giving you is a cinematic experience, and I think films are there first to entertain, then teach, then inspire. Uh 
I might remix the order of that myself. But uh, either way, there probably were historical inaccuracies, quite a few. But maybe there weren't. Who's to say? <laughs> because there was very little history about the man. It, was necess- it wasn't necessarily authentic. In some of the stuff I read about him, he wasn't as nice as he was on film. He Ooh, romanticized it a bit. I can imagine, yeah. You don't get to be that great of a warrior. Um, but that's the language of film. You have to make it cinematically acceptable. Actually, he was a monster. <laughs> he oh. always smelled of smoke because he was always burning people's villages down. He was like what the Vikings called a berserker. But <laughs> we kind of <laughs> shifted the balance a bit. A bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> because somebody's got to be the good guy and somebody the bad guy. And every story has its own point of view. And that was our bias. I, I at least. There's definitely uh, some villages and shit that he did we did not see. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. And the Prima Noctis thing, in which nobleman has the right uh, to, to a common man's bride after her wedding night, has never been used in the history of Britain or Ireland. <laughs> it would have encouraged rebellions. Why? It would have encouraged encouraged rebellions in newly conquered territories that were already difficult to govern. It was more common on the continent, notably in France. <laughs> wow! Uh, nice. Several major battle scenes were reshot because extras were wearing sunglasses and rich wristwatches. I was looking for that. There are a lot of facts on movies like this about that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, and aside from the few scenes uh, shot in the Scottish Highlands, nearly all of the movie was filmed in Ireland. <laughs> Killing the game <laughs> again. The magic of cinema, the rousing, <laughs> inspiring magic of a good piece of historical fiction. Uh, leave us your thoughts on Braveheart. Leave us any uh, trivia that you guys know or any answers to our burning questions. You have anything else to tell the people before we head out? No, this was a great time, and I'm happy you guys joined us. It's been great. Absolutely. Thank you for spending an epic time with us, and we'll catch you on the next one, and uh, be good to each other. Fight the tyranny wherever you can. <laughs> Pieces.